Hi guys, Welsh Wynn here again. Now you must be wondering uh, where I've been the last sort of seven or eight days. I've been indoors mostly because of the weather. Uh, it's been absolutely hammering it down here on and off for about a week. Uh, September is probably the worst month, I, I think so, for rain in Thailand. And uh, the other night I went up to uh, Patea on a Sunday night, had a few beers about 7pm and then about 9pm decided to go home. And as I was walking from Soi Bacau, uh through the avenue to Second Road, it absolutely pissed it down. Within minutes, uh, and we're not talking centimeters, the water levels, the floods on the streets were in inches, and I couldn't go anywhere. Uh, luckily, I was outside McDonald's, uh, fancy something to eat. So I spent an hour in McDonald's, uh, it eased off a bit, went outside, and it started again. And it was hard to find some cover because uh, it was blowing so hard, the rain was just relentless. So it took me another hour waiting to try and get a taxi. Now when it's, when it's raining, obviously there's not so many taxis about and the prices go up. So I, I finally managed to get a Bolt taxi. Um, normally 40 baht back to my apartment. Well, this time it was 100 baht, but not too bad, uh, about £2.40 British. So, uh, today's a bit better, so I managed to get out, and uh, today's vlog um, is going to be a bit controversial. Now, it's regarding uh, buying two ladies, two drinks in the same bar. There's a bar I go to in uh, Patea about once a week. I uh, enjoy going in there, live music, uh, great pool table, great atmosphere. But I've been going there now for about a year and the last few months I've got to know two girls in there quite well. Uh, buying them a lady drink each. Um, sometimes I'll buy one lady a drink and then tell her the next week that I'll buy the other lady a drink. But sometimes I'll go in and I'll buy two lady drinks on the same night. And to start off with, it was okay, no problem. Girls have a chat. And um, I'm not gonna name the girls or the bar. I'm just gonna call them Lady A and Lady B. Now the other night uh, I went in there I was gonna have a couple of beers and a game of pool. I sat down, uh, Lady A came up to me as usual and I offered her a drink, no problem. She had a short chat with me and then bounced from one customer to the other. And then it was my turn to play a game of pool and I was playing Lady B. So I told Lady B uh, if she won the pool game, I'd buy her a lady drink. She won the pool, bought her a drink. Uh, she then came over to my table, put a drink right next to Lady A's drink. And then about five minutes, Lady A came back and she just kicked off on me. She said, whose drink is that? And I said, I just bought Lady B a drink because uh, she beat me in pool. And she said, oh, you're not my customer anymore, I not talk to you. And I thought, oh, here we go, what's this all about? Um, I said to her, listen Lady A, um, I'm not your customer, I'm not Lady B's customer, I'm the bar's customer. And if I buy you a drink or oh, Lady B, it's a bonus for you and the bar. Because they get a cut, don't they? And she went on and on and then she said, oh, You've been trying to get Lady B to go with you. And I have to be honest, I did get Lady B's line. Because I wasn't going to pay a bar fine, it was just too expensive. So I did message Lady B one night last week, asked if she'd come out on a date. Uh, she messaged back that she was in Bangkok. Uh, one of her family was in hospital, so 
she couldn't come out so fair enough no problem so how the hell did lady a know that i don't know had they been talking to each other about it because when i was looking at them both in the bar uh, the other night after buying them two drinks they were talking to each other normally i didn't see any confrontation between them but uh, lady b really had a go uh, lady a sorry really had a go at me so i thought i'll drink this beer and just leave which i did and i will never go back to that bar again so i think of myself uh, as a nice chap you know try and get on with everybody i never try and fall out with anybody whoever they are so i learned a lesson i've been here three and a half years and that backfired on me so i'm guessing guys as some of you will say you buy three four five ladies in the same bar drink no problem i'm just giving you my experience and hopefully it helps especially uh, new guys coming out here for the first time um, i do not recommend that you buy two drinks for two ladies in the same bar so uh, lesson learned okay so uh I'm going to get something to eat now. I'm going to go to Soy 5 in Pratunak, uh, to a place called the Old Rogues Retreat. I've eaten there once before and the food was quite nice. So uh, we'll take a walk there and see what they got. And another uh, subscriber asked me the other day uh, about windsurfing and kite surfing in Patea Jomtien. So I'll also uh, show you uh, a windsurfing school. So I'm on uh, Dong Tan Beach in Jom Tien and there's a surf school here for windsurfing. Uh, there's nobody here at the moment for me to ask about prices, but uh, it looks like it's like 1,000 baht for one hour, 2,500 baht for three hours. So um, there's a couple of them along here. And if you wanted kite surfing, uh, further down the coast at Na Jom Tien, there's a company down there on the beach called KBA Blue Lagoon. Uh, they have a good website with all the price lists for you. So, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure about up in Patia itself, but here on uh, Jom Tien, there's a few windsurfing and kite surfing schools. Okay, guys, so I'm on Soy 5 Pratnak. Uh, if you're feeling a bit down like me today, uh, there's nothing better than to uh, fill an empty stomach with some nice food. So we'll just go to Old Rogues Retreat. It's at the top end of Pratanak Soy 5, right next to this Muay Thai gym. It's just about 50 yards down.
So I had the uh, small breakfast uh, in Old Rogues, uh, 125 baht. That included uh, a tea or coffee and one piece of toast. And to be honest with you, for a small breakfast, you could easily mistake it for a big one. It was really nice, it came out hot. Uh, coffee was really nice. It was also nice to have some mushrooms for a change. So yeah, highly recommend that place for breakfast and for other food as well. And if you're a Guinness drinker, they've got draft Guinness in there. And plenty of uh, big TV screens for the sport. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that uh, vlog today. Give me the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all uh, very soon. Cheers. Mm -hmm.